All right, guys, we got 22 orders going out for a total of $532 on eBay and none on Poshmark, which is a bummer, but it is what it is. So we're going to show you guys what we got going out today and just uh, give you guys a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm doing my first whatnot stream this Saturday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So 4 p.m. This Saturday, I'll be running men's and women's clothing, some vintage, some modern, and I even got uh, some hats and stuff like that as well to really just try to kick off, see how uh, the whole thing's going to go. Any tips and feedback on how to do a successful whatnot stream is greatly appreciated, but I would like it if you guys would come check me out over there. There is a link down below for my whatnot uh, account. You guys can go follow me. Give me a follow. And uh, if for some reason you guys are not signed up with whatnot yet and you've been hiding under a rock, uh, there will be a discount code down below that you guys can use to spend with me on the stream. So a uh, little bit of housekeeping just out of the way. So how are sales going for you guys? Me personally, Things are on like a downward slope. Uh, things were shooting up for a while and now it's kind of just down. So in order to combat the slow sales, in order to not have to go back and get a job somewhere else, I'm going to add another source of uh, income to the mix. Now, I don't know how well whatnot's going to perform, but I do know that I would rather add another stream than to go get a part time job somewhere. So if I add uh, whatnot to the to the business and can then generate some income over there. I'd still probably make more there than I would going to get a part time job at some place local to me. So, um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And in this business, if you're not pivoting and making changes and adapting to what it is that needs to be done to survive, you'll go under. And I'm not trying to be a statistic. A lot of you guys know I have a felony record. I can't get a job in most places. So that means it's McDonald's for me or restaurant work. I ain't trying to do all that. So, um, yeah, that's what lies ahead for me uh, in the future, guys. So uh, let's show you guys some of these items. I've had a good couple of days with like certain banger items being sold. Uh, too bad I don't film daily videos so I could show you guys those items. But nonetheless, some OK items going out today. So let me show you guys the first set of items going out. All right, guys, so we got a few orders right here going out. This one is a multiple quantity order. Two different orders combined as one. Let me show you guys what we got going. These are all Nike items. Nike shirt, Nike shirt, Nike hoodie, more Nike. All of these are all Nike items. Uh, just assorted sizes. Men's medium, men's medium. Okay, no, it's all medium. Um, the first order came to 34 bucks and the second order came to 39.35 so combined together they'll all get shipped out for a one flat fee i'll hit the buyer back with some money on the on the refund and uh pretty good order going out right there and that's the value of having right now i have a 30 percent off coupon on my store all those items sold with 30 percent off coupon so big shout out to that buyer and then uh i got this john f kennedy shirt right here this sold for sixteen twenty. Um, it's a men's medium, and I've been finding that a lot of these items that are getting relisted are selling for closer to full price. Um, really glad to see that. These are U.S. Air Force women's pants, size fourteen. These sold for a best offer of eighteen dollars. I love picking up camo. Uh, these are, or this is a Truman State University Bulldogs hoodie. That sold for best offer of, no, that sold for $2. This is an item that is marked down. Now, the strategy moving forward is all 16, maybe 1,500 items that I have left uh, on my store at $2 are getting taken down and going to go on the whatnot. So this hoodie right here, Truman State University, stuff sells. Right now, it's on sale for $2, but I could take this stuff and put it on whatnot not at a full price, but at a better price to where the buyer gets a good deal and I make more than $2 off the item. So that's the strategy moving forward. These are Bonobo's pants. Those are a men's 2832, brand new with tags, sold for a best offer of $24. Still an okay price. Uh, I had them listed for like 35 bucks, but it is summertime. Those are lightweight, so that does help them sell a little bit better. But 
pants and jean sales have slowed down a little bit as well as hoodies have with the uh summer weather like right now we're in a heat advisory right now uh so i understand that you know hoodies 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 they still sell pants still sell they have slowed down a little bit so i'm okay to see a pair of pants go out at a 24 dollars offer real quick side note guys on an unrelated to ebay topic uh i've been working with cheryl at simplify accounting you guys know she's my accountant but i'm over there doing youtube coaching in her uh in her facebook group um i know that may not be something that a lot of you guys are into but combined between all three of my channels i've got over thirty thousand subscribers so not that I'm an expert on it, but I know a little bit about growing a YouTube channel. This channel, Dixon's Pickens, is the least of my priorities, which is why I'm making absolutely no effort to grow this channel. The other two channels, I do make an effort to grow. Uh, the channel that I had stopped working on for three months, I started working on that channel again the 8th of this month, July 8th. And in the last 20 days, I've gained over 1,000 subscribers on that channel alone. My other channel that I started three months ago has over 13,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to know anything about YouTube, how to grow a YouTube channel, how to get views on a YouTube channel, come over there, join Cheryl's group. There's a link for it down below in the description. And I'd love to see you over there and help you guys grow your YouTube if that's something that you're into. Okay, guys, so a few more items here. Got this Wrangler shirt, uh, long sleeve thermal shirt men's large so for best offer of eight bucks wrangler shorts men's 34 denim uh so for 936 we got this carhartt t-shirt this is a henley men's medium so for 10 bucks i got these columbia men's short size 32 so for a best offer of eight bucks now this item right here i want to tell you guys something about it these are un i'm sure they have them everywhere uh, this is, uh, what number is this? Now I found two of these in the bins. People just kept passing them up. Now kicking myself in the face. I've seen several of these before and never picked them up. 25, 379, 25, 379. And I've never picked these up. Well, best believe I'm going to be picking them, picking them up every time I see them. What it is, is a Grateful Dead tribute, uh, night at Bush stadium for the Cardinals. It's got the Grateful Dead Bears on the Cardinal bat. And uh, I've seen these multiple times before, but I was like, man, that's like some low budget. Like, ain't nobody going to buy that. Well, then I picked them up and I looked up the comps on them. And the comps were pretty impressive. $50 a piece on them. And so this one I sent out a really aggressive offer on. So it only sold for $33 and some change. But still, I got multiple of these. So really glad to see that go out. Wish I would have picked up all the other ones that I saw every other time that I saw them. But hey, you learn from your mistakes, you know what I mean? And so now, when I go out and I see these, I'll definitely be picking them up. It takes no time at all to list a t-shirt, and it goes for 30 bucks. I'll take it. It's not even vintage, so let's go. All right, so we got another assortment of random items to sell here. This is a pair of cello jeans. Not a good brand I wouldn't pick up anymore. These are a women's size 18, so for $1.50 plus shipping. This is a Guy Harvey t-shirt, kind of like beach vibes. I definitely would pick this brand up again, but I'd probably put it on a uh, whatnot. This is going to be a men's small. This sold for $1.50 as well. These are vintage South Pole jean shorts. Would have sold quicker if I had a loud embroider in the back pocket, but these are just basic baggy Y2K or good keywords, hip hop streetwear these sold for a best offer of 21 dollars that i sent out those are men's 40. this is a mossy oak uh hunting type shirt it's got the deer on it mossy oak big spell out this sold for a best offer of seven bucks that's a men's 3xl then we got this blackberry farms brewery hoodie it's like a hooded t-shirt uh, i never heard of this before but i found a couple of pieces by them so pretty quickly 25 is uh, a recent recent skew i'm on twenty six thousand right now that's sold for a best offer of 850 that's a men's medium we got this vintage ireland shirt uh kind of cool looking didn't sell quickly at all 78 14 that would probably be something i'd put on whatnot going forward uh vintage items are going to be going over there that sold for a dollar 62 plus shipping 
that is uh, a men's large. Then the last item right here is BKE Vintage Jeans. These are women's size 25. Uh, they are new without tags. Um, they sell for a best offer of $22.50. And they have been listed for quite some time too. 86.12. So really small size. But the flare leg stuff is in style right now. So I'm surprised they didn't sell quicker. But it is what it is. So um, a lot of lower dollar items. and Well, not a lot of. But a couple of dollar something items. The only way I'm making money off those is on the shipping. But that is what it is. Moving forward, I'll be putting those items on whatnot. Okay, guys. So for the last couple of items we got going out, these are going to be all items that just sold for under two bucks. Uh, this one is a J. Jill dress uh so for 162 which the only profit i'll make is off the shipping on all three of these items uh these are arizona jeans uh women size 31 so for a dollar 44 and then this is an old navy hoodie men's large and that sold for a dollar 60. like i said i'll only make something off the shipping on these but these are the types of items that don't need to be in my store now i'm not going to say that i would pick these types of i'd I'd pick J. Jill up for a whatnot stream. I don't know about Old Navy or Arizona. I probably wouldn't pick that stuff up for a whatnot stream. But that's the type of stuff that I'm going to be getting out of my store. If nobody wants it on whatnot, I'm not going to keep selling it for a dollar or whatever on eBay. No point in holding on to that type of stuff. But stuff that I'll also be putting on whatnot streams is stuff like this North Face Denali jacket. Now, this sold on eBay for $22. It does have a stain right there. But the thing about this one is, it's weird, man, because the guy kept making $15 offers on it. Three $15 offers. I kept counting with 20. Finally, I was just like, I'm not playing with this dude. And I declined his $15 offer. Well, like two hours goes by, and then he counter, he comes back and messages, or not messages me, but he comes back and offers me $22. That's $2 higher than the $20 I was countering him on. So if he wants to pay $22 when I was trying to give him $20, Go ahead and let them. I had it listed for 30 bucks. It got relisted at $27. And so when he was offering 15, that's 12 bucks off. I'm not going to do that. So I did offer 20, which is $7 off. He offered 22, which is $5 off. So yeah, I'll take it. So those are the items that I got going out today on eBay. As I said, guys, link down below for my whatnot. Uh, come join me Saturday, 4 p.m. Uh, and then that way I can start realizing what type of things you guys want. If you guys are looking to come buy some items, I can start looking for those types of things for you. Really like to see you guys over there. But that's going to do it for this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.